Hello Oracle Database World, this is Justin, and in this Oracle Database video YouTube tutorial I am going to show you how to restore and recover an Oracle Differential Incremental Database Backup. Man, that was a mouthful, huh? So in this scenario we created a Differential Incremental Backup of an Oracle Database and now we want to restore it. Okay, so if we connect, if we set up Oracle SID to Finance sure we're set properly and we connect via rman to this target database and we type in list backup summary we will see that on we have backups that we've already taken and the CD's backups taken how to basically how to create a differential incremental backups um, you can view my YouTube video on how to how to create a differential incremental backup. So on Sunday, in this scenario, on Sunday we did a level zero, a full backup, which is a differential. We did on on Sunday. On Monday we did a level one. On Tuesday we did a level one. Wednesday we did a level one. Thursday we did a level one. Friday we did a level one, and Saturday we did a level one. Okay, so we're going to have a scenario where we lose our Oracle database to some sort of media failure and we want to restore to Saturday okay let's say we lost our database sometime Saturday okay well technically it would be Sunday morning we lost it at some time okay so and we need to restore the database to how it looked Saturday okay so the database would basically look like how it looked Friday close business which is what they the business really cares about okay so, we're going to go ahead and we're going to connect to our database via SQL Plus. Select aspect from days. And this there's a table called days in our finance database that has six rows. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And if you view my video on how to create a differential incremental backup, you'll see what I was doing here. I, based, I ran a level zero on, on our fake Sunday in our scenario. And then I created a table and ins the the days table and inserted row Monday. Then I took a level zero, I mean a level one on our mock Monday. Then I did an insert of Tuesday into the days table. Then I did a mock level one for Wednesday, and then um, I mean for Tuesday. And then I did an insert of Wednesday. Then I did another level one. Then I did an insert for Thursday. Another level one insert for Friday. A level one and then Saturday level for one so what I ended up with was one was a level zero incremental differential backup and I also was left with six level one incremental backups so to know that we recovered our database success um, successfully and fully up through Saturday when we do a select asterisk from days we should see all six rows so go ahead and do a shutdown abort because we're going to crash our instance here intentionally. Okay, Oracle instance shutdown. The next thing we're going to do here is we're going to be destructive. Ha ha ha. And here are in C colon slash database slash or data slash finance, this is the location where all the files which collectively make up our finance database reside our data files, our online Ouija log files, and our control files. So what we're going to do is we're going to issue the OS delete command and we are going to delete all these files. And of course any kind of any subsequent startup attempt of the database will fail because it can't find any of the files. More specifically it's not going to be able to find a control file so it's not going to get, be able to, to get past the mount stage of startup. So we get or a error or a 00205 um, error and identifying a control file check alert log for more info. Okay, so we just shut down the port because it's a useless instance. Okay. So let's go to the location where our man by default writes its backup pieces. And backup pieces is an R man term which means the files that contain the backup of your database. So we're gonna go to C colon slash Oracle slash app slash product one eleven one zero db one 
and c colon slash oracle slash app slash product slash 1110 slash db underscore one is your oracle home and oracle home is where your database software is installed and on this computer this is our oracle home and slash database the subdirectory database under our oracle home location is where our is where armin by default will write its backup pieces okay and here are all the backup pieces which were written okay by armin when we performed our differential incremental backups and you'll see two for each day so here's sunday here's monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday okay so you'll see there's 14 files here okay two for each day okay so the first thing we need to do to recover our our database via the differential incremental backups are is we need to restore our most recent control file because our most recent control file will know about all the all the uh, all the other differential backups on the past that we need to recover. Okay, so it needs to be the most recent. And typically, you'll notice that there's two backup pieces per day. We have seven days that we need to recover here, okay, because we lost our database. And we have seven days we need to recover, okay, but there, and there's 14 files. That tells me seven times two equals 14 tells me that, there, that two files were created, which is the case, two backup pieces in the Oracle world talk were created per day, per backup. Okay, so the first backup piece of the day will have the data file backups. The second backup piece of the day will have the backup of the control file and the backup of the SP file. So what we need is the second backup piece of the last day, which is Saturday, which is this day. And we know it's Saturday because the, D, the, the OSDIR command by default will show us in chronological order the files when they were created okay and 10:33 p.m. being the latest time because it, it took 10 minutes to go through that whole backup scenario here apparently um, so this is this the logic suggests that um, that the last file here will show us will have the um, control file and the SP file so we're going to connect back to RMAN and we're going to start up our database and stop it at the no mount state and yes you can do a startup command just like you can in SQL plus from RMAN which is a nice feature of RMAN you don't have to keep going back and forth between SQL plus and RMAN during a recovery situation okay so you need to at least start an instance remember you can't mount a database and you certainly can't open it because you don't have a control file or, or data files but you can at least start no mount because you do have your p file your initialization file okay your init uh, name name of instance finance.ora file or your sp file okay so you can do that and you need to start the instance so rman because rman is a client server application needs something to connect to and the instance gives him what he needs to connect so we did a startup no mount and we stopped there the database is mounted now we're going to type in restore control file from and we're going to give it the latest backup piece name which is j24 this one okay and by default our man knows to look in this directory the oracle home slash database directory All right, and it only restored one, but it created two cop two more copies automatically because we mirrored, we multiplexed our control files based on the P file, which is a nice feature. Now you'll notice something interesting, something worth um, worthwhile here um, is that on Sunday, let's look at the file sizes here. Now these files are in chronological order, right? Let's look at the files. We see that on Sunday the first backup piece was bigger than the second backup piece. Well, of course it was, because the first backup piece on Sunday, okay, the earliest one, 1023, had all data blocks in the database regardless written to it. It was a full backup, level zero. And the second backup piece had the control, just the control file and the SP file, which are always considerably, considerably less than the data file backups because they're smaller entities, okay? Now, on Monday, it was a level one, 
okay only blocks that have changed since the level zero backup so you'll notice that the first five backup piece created on Monday is smaller than the second backup piece even though the second backup piece just contains the control file and SP file okay because it only because the first backup piece only contains data files which have changed since the prior backup as a as, um, as opposed to the full backup that contains all of them and it's the same thing for Tuesday Tuesday look it's just changed backup data files I mean data data blocks but the control file and SP file backup piece are bigger Wednesday same thing smaller this is bigger Thursday smaller this is bigger Friday smaller this is bigger and Saturday smaller and this is bigger so just an interesting um, file size observation okay so now connected via RMAN let's we need to um, it says no not mounted we need to mount our database and we can mount our database now because we recovered our control files and let's prove that by logging into the location where our database is usually kept database or data finance DIR see there's our control files so RMAN recovered them for us so connect RMAN target slash and do and we can mount our database now that we have our control file so we can type an alter database mount like so and uh, I apologize I got that error because I was doing something in another window to the database so that kind of uh, screwed that up so start up no mount so we'll get back to the stage that we were right after we recovered, right after we restored the control files. So now we can do an alter database mount and we should be okay. Alright, database mounted. So now let's go ahead and we to let's just restore our database. So if we type in so well let's do a list backup summary. Now when we do a list backup summary we will see that the control file where the where the RMAN metadata is kept by default the control file because we restored the most recent control file the Saturday control file he knows about all the backups so he knows about the level 0 on Sunday and the level 1's on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday so he knows about everything that we need basically okay and you'll notice that we're missing a Saturday here but that's not a big deal the reason why we're missing a Saturday is because that control file that the data the RMAN backed up that control file to a backup piece okay but this is the control file that went into that backup piece so he doesn't know about himself that's why you don't see that last Saturday but that's not a problem okay so because we specifically told RMAN to restore from that backup piece we knew our, no metadata told us but we knew now that the, 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 that backup piece um, contained that that physical file contained a backup to the control file we knew that okay now it may not always be possible to know that that's why it's always a good idea when you take backups to tell our man the right to log files keep records just understand what the backup piece names are that our man generates and what's in them so it's always important to know that that's that's also a as recovery scenario like that is also the, a good case for using the recovery catalog recovery catalog is always there persistent so it's always going to know about everything regardless of what stage it was created so keep that in mind as well so now that our Oracle database is mounted and we know about everything let's type in restore database you need to restore before you can recover and restore database is the process of physically restoring from the backup storage to the database storage so it's physically restoring the files now it's restoring the level zero backup from Sunday evening and I'll pause the video while this restore runs okay so our restore is done and look look at the tag it used level it, 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 re it read from file IDT okay which is tag level zero Sunday okay that, that's why I, I like using tags and non default tags our man will assign a default tag which is a real annoying format it's it's the word tag the date and like some random number so it's you know it's 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 long and it's annoying Okay, I like to create my own simple short tags. Okay, so now type in 
recover database. And what this and this command in a non-incremental restore world, if you remember from our how to restore and recover an Oracle database using the RMAN basic video, will usually just apply the archive logs. But we don't need to do that here because this is going to restore the um, this is going to recover all the incrementals. So we type in recover database and we didn't tell it, we didn't give it an SCN and we didn't give it a time or anything like that. So it's going to by default recover as much as it can, everything that, that it knows about, which is Saturday. So we're going to get all the backups through Saturday here. So recover database. And this will go quicker because it's only applying the changes per each day. And look, see what it's doing? It's applying every change. And if your eyes are quick, you can see what it, that, that it's going through every day that we did. Okay, that's what it, that's the difference in the differential and a cumulative incremental restore. Okay, differential needs all the backups, while cumulative only needs the backup of the day you're going to and the full. Okay, so we'll, let's let's walk through this. We did a restore database up here, and it restored the level zero sun. See the tag right there. Then we did a recover database, and the first thing it did automatically was it did a level one Monday. There it is, see? Which is this backup piece name. Okay, so level one Monday. Then it automatically switched to the m level one Tuesday, and it applied that incremental. Then it automatically switched to the love to the next one and did a love and applied the level one hyphen Wednesday incremental. Then it automatically switched to the next one and applied the level one hyphen Thursday incremental. Then it automatically switched to the next one and applied the level one hyphen Friday incremental. And then finally, it's automatically switched to the final one and applied the level one hyphen Saturday incremental. And this right here is our usual um, archive log not found message that we usually get with recoveries. So, right from our man, just like any other recovery, we do alter database open reset logs, like so. Let it do its thing. And as you saw, the incremental recoveries went quicker than the full restore because it was less data that it had to recover. So there's a lot of advantages with incremental. Okay, so now we connect by SQL Plus to our database. We ensure we're connected. Select name from VDAR sign database, finance, and we do select asterisk from days, and this is our business, our logic test. And bam, there's all of our data, all six rows. So it applied, so it restored the full Sunday, then it applied Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Okay? That's how you uh, restore a differential incremental backup.